morning. Good morning. You need to say. I what... know what you were expecting, people on the internet. But no, not today. Today I have this beautiful thing. This is uh, this is getting more and more into the videos. I think, like it's it's obviously Adam's car, but I think we should steal it from him and do what rich YouTubers do. What? Modify it. But oh no! Of rich imagine this. We don't have money, so we just <laughs> modify it somehow. <laughs> okay, thirty-five thousand likes and we do this. No, thirty-five million. Thirty-five thousand million likes and we do this. Uh, welcome to episode episode eight seven. I think. No, seven. seven was yesterday. No. Yeah. Because you filmed two days in Paco. Yeah, that's seven. Welcome to episode eight or seven of Daily Dose of Nitro. Hey, I need to find my board. The plan for today is a bit uh, unknown because we don't know what we're doing today. And uh, one thing we do for sure because the weather is just beautiful. We go. As you can see, ready. Not with these shoes though. No, not with these. Uh, going for the first skate session of the year. Which I'm very excited about. Oh yeah, it's here, look. Oh yeah. I wonder how old it is. Man, I want to get the bike out. But uh, it's, it's a flat tire. Didn't you just change it? What? The tires and everything. Yeah, the tires are new and the tubes are new. But still, for some reason, after... You know, maybe it's just... I need to pump it and... I will take the bike out soon. Because I want to ride it. But for now... Show me here. Show me here. Actually, ah, okay, I see. Still okay, not bad. But uh, well, it's been in the garage for last. Listen, last year I didn't skate at all. True. So I guess we can look very stupid on the skate park yes. today when all the kids do all the cool tricks. Last year I skated twice. Once in Netherlands and once in LA. Also, you know what we need to do very soon, actually, now that the season is coming up. Hey, boy, wake up. The spring is almost here. No more sleeping. No, oh, look at that. What? Well, uh, why is that on the floor? Uh, I think I was taking some pictures or something. Just keep it there. Okay, you can see. <laughs> I really want to find some time to spend uh, on a rear suspension and make it actually more drivable than yes. it is. I don't think we can make it this season, though, for the events. Let's see. Maybe. Okay, bye. I want to hear something amazing, not, not your twin cam, b -b -b -b. look at this. 4 AGE, some IT beat. Look how this starts. Beautiful. What? Oh, nice one. Never mind, let me just close by this. <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> ah, good. I know what we haven't done in a while on this channel. What? Come with me. Unboxing. Marek. What this? I don't know, that's your stuff. My stuff? Uh, that's alternator for uh, Skyline. Oh, that's the rails and for this? the passenger seat. Yes, for the 86. Seat, so we can mount that. Yeah, we can do that now. Uh, or you don't feel like it. Full day of work. Uh, later. <laughs> Um, I'm happy it came because the other seat was just laying here. Um, the passenger seat was just laying here waiting for the rails. Or let's see what others doing. Yes. For those of you are that always commenting under the videos that why don't we put a asphalt here or why don't we do a proper ramp or one? Hello. It's been a while. This since. is your telephone. Hello. It's basically because we're renting this place at the end of the day and uh, yeah. one day in the future we are planning to move out of here, of course, get something bigger, more, um, you know, usable. And that's when we will actually invest the money once we actually buy our own place. And as long as we are renting, I don't think there's any point in spending that much money to, to do the floor. Shima. Shima. Good morning. Shima, Shima. What's up? Oh, la, la. So what this? Auto, które robię za długo od dwa lata. Nie lubię robić długo aut. No nie. Ale było bardzo zimno na garażu, a najgorętszy silnik w BMW to jest M50. Pokaż to. So this is Adam's BMW E90 with very interesting engine swap in it. 
Iron Block M50. Look this. To będzie czarne. Boost. Driving now, no? <laughs> so this car pretty much needs to be tuned and then it's yeah. ready to go. So if anyone wants to buy this car of others, text me on Instagram. Good price. Nissan will be happy. Yes, yeah. he, will, he actually wants to sell this one to invest into his Nissan. Yeah, all the money from this, from selling this, would go into something. This. No, not this. This. Cool. The idea is now that we wanted to take E30 uh, for test drive because it's not working great. It's leaking a lot of oil, like it's, it's, really a lot. It's blessed though. Yeah, it's blessed, but don't worry about it. It's a little thing, it's just an old car. It is what it is. Uh, and we're thinking, okay, let's come to the garage. We have two hours. Let's quickly take it for a test drive and uh, check what's the issue. But then we remember this. To take E30 out, we need to take this out and this out. <sighs> and this car is not really movable. And this car is, well... I don't know if Bozo took the keys and he's not answering the phone, so... He's sleeping, it's already 1 p.m. What time is it here? So, so... I don't know if I feel like doing this now. No, let's do it another time, but we need to definitely do it, because... Marek wants to drift... Yeah. ...on the events this year. So we need to get it ready for the season. Also, we need to get this ready, because Jimmy said he's coming to Altres again, and his car is here. Just waiting for him. Actually, mechanically speaking. Yeah, mechanically speaking, uh, it's perfect. It's fixed. It's been fixed. It's just that. Look at the car now. Look at this, for example. Yeah, it needs a bit of TLC and probably some. Okay, Marek. I think we need to do it. Well, we don't need to unbox the the rails because obviously everyone knows how the rails look. But this is very cool stuff. It's maybe it's maybe not super exciting as for like what it is. But it's a big part of the engine uh, built for the Skyline. And uh, it's also very cool. It's done by one of our friends. Yeah, it's custom work. Let's see it. Box in a box. Double unboxing. Box, box. But <laughs> almost. The stock alternator from 1UZ is 70 ampere, 60 or 70 ampere, and it's pretty low for what we need. We're gonna run electric uh, power steering pump, we're gonna run a lot of LED lights, we're gonna run heating. Yeah, all the electric things and also uh, air cups as well. All of the things that take uh, electricity from the car, this alternator in 1UZ is not big enough to produce the energy needed for the car to work perfectly with, uh, with all the electrics. So, our friend Mazur Garage. As you can see here. What he does is he making the custom alternators for most of the typical uh, Japanese engines. All the JZs, RBs, SR20s and 1UZs as well. So this is a Volkswagen alternator and this one is 180 ampere comparing to 70 ampere from the stock 1UZ. As you can see this pulley has been made to fit 1UZ size and it comes as a set with all the hardware needed. Uh, one more pulley because also the alternator is going to be a tensioner for for the belt. All the little pieces are here and it's also coming together with the connectors. So this is pretty much plug and play set for the alternator for 1UZ. And like I said, if you want to get something like this for your build, Maslow Garage, I'm going to put the link in the description. If we wouldn't have this, we would need to struggle a lot with getting around, you know, the stock alternator being too small and like all the little things and this is just so much easier. Kurde, kontakt z tym gościem, nie? Siema! Alternator do zrobienia, siema, zrobiony, wysłany. Dwa dni, nie? Dziękuję. Mega. A zrobisz nam napinanie? No przecież pewnie, oczywiście, że tak. Tu masz rolkę, tu masz alternator. Patrz. Tak to powinno wyglądać, nie? Tak to powinno wyglądać. Dzięki, śliczny. Tylko z Volkswagena to jest, nie możemy mówić. Gdzie jest logo? No nie jest, ale... Nie może być. Nie, to jest Toyoty. Toyota. Okej. Okay. Oh, let's do it. I think we're gonna just keep filming, you know. Maybe you guys will enjoy. If you don't enjoy us, Sucking at skating, maybe just skip the video to the to the garage pit. Oh no! What? My uh, wait. What this? My white powder. What is this powder for? Don't worry about it. But my white powder. Oh no! Marek, you just made the. Are you going gym still? Yeah. Yeah. When was the last time? A month ago. Ah, so you're still going. Okay, you're still okay. Don't. I don't want. No. Okay. Okay. That's fine. It's fine. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he's going. Being consistent, you know, it's um, important and stuff. This <laughs> guy. Okay. 
The best car. Made it. Marek is filming with his new toy. New toy, a film camera. You can already. No, not film camera. Uh, what's the name? Camcorder. Camcorder. Yes. Yeah. What corner? It's middle of the day. Kids are at school, so we have the whole skate park to to ourselves, which is nice. <sighs> okay, let's warm up and then film some tricks. <laughs> warm up, yes. Film some tricks. Oh. Adam is here on the bike. Whoosh! Adam is mounting some batkas, huh? Basically everything from a skate session is filmed uh, from this camera. No? No? Yeah, tam jechałem. Patrz, idzie, I prawie skoczyłem. Prawie skoczyłeś? No i tak. Pokaż, pokaż jak. Jak tam wojszczę? There is a bit of situation in my Corolla under the hood, I'll show you. I just noticed it now. Just didn't film it. The car didn't want to start, so I opened the hood, and this is what I saw. I was like, why don't want to start? And then I noticed this being super loose. Yeah, this bolt, I think, is supposed to have a washer, because as you can see, it just went inside the plastic, and on the other side, there's no, there's no bolt at all. Um, probably because of the vibrations or whatever. So let's fix it quickly. And of course, would be fine to fix it in my garage, but because all of these flipping guys like this. What do you mean? You just left the car there and I cannot drive. Where should I park? Just wherever else, just on the side. Where on the side? Here, so Bosman is gonna be angry, or here, so I'm gonna lock the car inside the garage, or here, so I'm gonna park at their spot and then they gonna park there. Why is there so many cars? You dumb bus. <laughs> I don't know. These guys, man. You, you need to stop buying cars, man. It's pissing me off. It's not my car. There's not a single car of mine. Yeah? Yeah. Why are you driving in the bus? Damn, the next one will be driving here. I'm still trying to drive here. It's a lot of fun to get out of this mud. Or you can see that it's still in the middle. Like Vinci is driving here. I'm going to go back and get another one. But I'll take the one wheel. Okay, boom, all mounted. What this? You don't know. Uh, piglet. What? Piglet. Piglet? What this? Yes. Uh, so, how is your car? Uh, my car is... Broken? Broken. And... Uh, what this time? This. Ah, piglet. Uh, no, it's blower. Uh, it's not blowing. Another day that Kuba is working on the headers here. We are almost, I think by the end of today, we're going to be done with the first, first side of the header and we're going to start doing the other side. And when we were away, Andrew started installing the the alternator so you know little by little step by step a little progress it's being done and also today i need to go for a mission 
to Archie. If you remember Archie, Archie is the guy that did electric job on my S13 and I need to go to his place to pick up the adapters for the rear brakes for the Skyline. He has some interesting stuff going on in his garage so I'm gonna go and show you guys as well. What do you think of Archie's uh, E36 there? Oh man, it's crazy stuff. Something crazy. like this? There's nothing like this in Poland, yeah, no? Yeah, there's nothing like this in Poland. Everybody who's saying like, oh yeah, I have most amazing crazy camber, they run something like... They run 10 degrees. Yeah, 10 degrees. And this <laughs> guy, he's running like... This... No, no, it's a fire. A już zaczyna nabierać kształtów, co? Ale masz jeszcze drugie. So this is the Supra. This is the Supra that you could see in our episode when we bought Rolly. It was in our garage for a while. It's Bozo's brother's MK4 that has been swapped here for a Turbo 2J. Oh my. Okay, teraz to dopiero zauważyłem tu. A patrz, jak to tutaj fituje. To są. To, że przywieźliście je, Żanek mi powiedział, że ino aso. Ino More cool cars. O, a też ma ładne koło. Co to jest za koło? O, z tyłu są, z tyłu znowu przemocne koło. To na pewno, ale... Fajne. Ale wielkie to turbo. No, teraz będę chciał jechać. Musi plumpać, One more very nice car here. In the shadow. Look at that. Very cool FDRX7. Japanese import. It's gonna get a, a new body kit here. There's always very cool cars here around Archie's garage. Okay, we have adapters. That's what we came for and let's go back home. Okay, boom. Where are you going? Anyway, we are back in the garage and it's late already. Um, yeah, didn't do much today, but now uh, we are actually going to do some work. With you, mister. No, you. I will do as well. <laughs> you, you do. So, as you can see, we have those pizza brake, braided brake lines on the floor. And me and Bozo, we labeled them to know which line is exactly gonna do what, which one needs to be connected where. And now with all the labeled brake lines, we are gonna install them on the car. That's the plan. Shouldn't be too hard, but you never know. There is this pedal box, there is a hydro e-brake inside, and there is a whole bunch of brake lines. So I think what we need to do first is put the, put the pedal box in the car, and then yeah, work from there. It's not a super visual job that it's good to film. I wouldn't normally film it, but hey, daily dose of nitrate. Let's go. Let's get rid of all the stuff from inside. Let's get this pedal box. Let's put to the car. Bit messy here. Uh, we also need the e-brake. Do we have e-brake? Mm. I think it's on the shelf. E-brake, e-brake, PMC, where are you? That's me, e-brake. Very beautiful piece, uh, to be honest. All CNC machined. So the e-brake will be, let's say, around here for now. Okay, so bring me the, uh, give me the piece for the pedal box. Yeah, but which hole? <laughs> huh? Which hole? Which hole? The... The good one. 
You know, one of them holes, you know. It's gonna be the hole. Yeah, yeah, this was good, I guess. Because the bottom one is for the steering. Yeah, yeah, steering rack. Okay, and this is what? This is pedal box. This is pedal box, but this is front brakes, right? So it's gonna be to to one of these two. So I mounted one part to the pump in the pedal box, and now there's this threesome, and that's the right wheel, and this is a left wheel, and you need to put it through the arch. I don't know which hole should it be. I don't know too, man. Like you need to try new things, you know. Just put stuff into the hole, and we'll see. And threesome from the other side. Yeah, but wait, I think it's gonna be this one. Just like. bang it there for now. It should be good. And then we'll see. It's very long cable though. Yes. Hmm. I don't know why. I'm not sure if that's the one. <laughs> no, Let's it, see. It, it have to be long because you still you need, you need to travel through here, safely here, yeah, but and then bit... into the wheel. So. Okay. Let's raise the car and try to connect it to the actual calipers. Huh? Okay. Yeah, so now we need to connect this cable we j that we just put through the arch. Uh, with this uh, brake line that it's from destroyer die that's already connected with the caliper. Okay, for now we don't tighten it, of course, because we need to make sure that it's good, you know. Okay, uh, this piece of cable is for the clutch master cylinder to connect with the pedal box. So I guess. Oh, <laughs> Miha. Miha, why you kick me? <laughs> Miha is a bully, you know. Oh, crazy, shit. crazy, crazy Miha. Okay, the next one is gonna be one of them is for the e brake. Uh, let's take this threesome. There is holes, actually, the right ones. There is holes. Yeah. And these holes. So these drawings here, Adam did probably two months ago. So these are the holes that we're gonna put a brake lines through for the rear calipers, right? Yes, so for here, like that. So three some here. And this is gonna this. go through here. Yeah, this is gonna go to the pendle box. So to the e-brake, we mounted one of the brake lines that goes all the way to the back. And now we need to put it same as the other one that goes to the back. So three some in the same place. Here and now we need the last uh, brake line that's gonna go for the for the fluid. I don't know if it fits, but yeah, should fit. Well, <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait! Is the same thread? Yes, it looks like it, but I don't know if it's too short, maybe. Or no, 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 it should fit. Try again. Okay. But now we know this. This need to be holded by passenger when we drive. No. So when we drive, mount here. I mount it here. <laughs> oh wait, the e-brake is gonna be like this. So I mount it like this. Yeah. And then you pull like this. Yeah. Okay then. Well, actually nice. I'm very happy that all the brake lines in the car are just this. You know, there is not. You know the the gold ones. Yeah. They're always such a pain in the ass yeah. to like work, to work with. with them, yeah. By using pizza brakes, everything is super tidy. Uh, I guess everything is ready, no? Yeah. Good job. Ah, good job, yeah. Nothing is working. Nothing is working. We are, we are you know. missing half of the car. But good job. Yeah, it's good. No, but this, like, it's a good progress, no? Yeah, it's of course. Little stuff that was lying on the floor for a couple of days now, and no one kind of wanted to do it because it's a bit of a shitty job. But So, this is done, and I think there's nothing else we filmed today. So, this is the end of this uh, episode, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow, I have a good plan of painting the bumpers in uh, 86. So, I hope I can do it tomorrow. Mm, thank you very much for watching, and see you tomorrow. Bozo, say see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, mister. Do I look like a skater? Yeah, you are, no? No, now you look like German uh, emo hip-hop kid from 2002. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go home.